What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. Listen, in this video, I am going to be doing a real quick Scanning with the focus. That's better, that's better. Super quick unboxing to show you some of the bits that I got in from Farfetch. I got in some t-shirts. And I got in a pair of trainers, which I want to get some opinions from you guys so you can let me know what you think about them. But also, there's been two brands that I've been scanning for a little while now. One of them I've covered quite a bit in the videos called Represent. And the other one that I've been covering a little bit, well, I have, I've covered it a few times in a Selfridges video, but it's another UK brand called Preview. And I want to get your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about these two brands, and I'm going to show you some of the other t-shirts i got as well, okay? Now, this video has been sponsored by Farfetch. They're actually doing 15% off on sale items for the next couple of days, so make sure to go and check that out because that is a pretty decent sale, okay? Let's see these items that I've got in from Farfetch. Right, so these are the items that I've got in here from Farfetch. I've got a couple of boxes in. So I've got one box of trainers, a couple of t-shirts, and a few bits in there. I can't even remember what I ordered. But yeah, I know some trainers and some t-shirts. So here's the first unboxing that I got in, and this is the trainers. Now, I think these are called the Alexander McQueen New Core Trainers. The first bunch of Alexander McQueen trainers that I remember were the oversized Alexander McQueens, and people went nuts for them, I think. Just before like the lockdown started, I think people are really kind of into those but I've noticed that a lot of people are saying they're not into those no more but I still like the brand Alexander McQueen so I thought it would be interesting to see what these were saying because I quite like the looks of these. I thought the first Alexander McQueen trainers were just a little bit too bulky. I did get a pair for myself but I ended up returning them because I just thought they were too bulky if I'm to be honest so hopefully these ones are going to be a lot nicer so let's have a quick look at them. Loving the box, loving the packaging so far. Opening these trainers is like opening a um, packet of sweets, but that's them. Now, I think these are almost like a more sleeker pair of the first version of oversized trainers from Alexander McQueen, but I actually really like these. First thing is the quality on them looks really, really nice. The leather feels really good. Yeah, they just feel really sturdy in hand. Love the little Alexander McQueen logo on the back. The sole looks really good. I'm liking this pattern from the sole. That looks a little bit interesting. So I'm going to be trying those on to see what those are saying and see if they're comfortable. So let me quickly do that and see. So I don't know what it is, but it always, it's always difficult for me to put designer trainers on. I always feel like, I don't know, it's almost like you've got to break them in. So let me just loosen up the laces a little bit and they're getting a little bit more comfortable now. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Feels a bit funny on this bit here, but maybe it's because there's still a bit of lacing that needs to be undone. So that feels a lot better now, actually. All right, cool. Now, the thing with trainers like this is most of the time, the lever is really kind of, really kind of sturdy, really hard and really strong at this stage. Just like most good quality lever, especially on the trainers and really good quality jackets as well, you'll find that you need to kind of wear them out a little bit before you kind of break them in. And they kind of almost take a little bit like the shape of your foot after if that makes sense so and what i find when i have trainers like this is i very rarely wear them i'll just probably wear them once in a while if i'm going somewhere nice but if i know i'm going somewhere and they might get mash up <laughs> then chances are I probably wouldn't wear them. But um, so far they are quite comfortable. Um, I guess I like them because they are a little bit different, but I just don't know if I'll be keeping these ones, to be honest. I don't know, maybe designer trainers are not really my thing. But for those people who are interested in the new courts, then I do still think they look very good. I just don't know if designer trainers are for me personally. Now the next item that I've got in is this Stone Island T-shirt. So let's have a look at this. Now the reason why I picked this up is because actually when I done a video when I went to the vintage store over in Brick Lane, the guy um, whose store, what guy whose store it was, was really kind enough to give me an old vintage t-shirt, which was really nice of him. And it just, when I saw this one, it just reminded me of it. Actually, let me see if I can go and find the t-shirt quickly so I can show you the t-shirt that I'm talking about that the guy gave me. So this is the original t-shirt that he gave me when I went that day to go and do a video on his store and I was so happy with this t-shirt I haven't seen anything like this before but it's got the Stone Island um, logo there in this kind of reflective material which is really nice like a reflective font obviously we got the pocket there as well and I just feel like when you have a little pocket on the t-shirt it just kind of smartens things up a little bit so that's really nice the stitching throughout you've got this kind of um, visible stitching on the outside which gives it lots of detail and also the collar as well is really unique and you've got the visible stitching on the back of the t-shirt yeah 
big shout to the guy for sending me this one. Thank you very much. I love this t-shirt and I wear it all the time. So obviously when I saw this one on Farfetch, I thought, yeah, do you know what? This one is really, really nice. I am gonna be um, copying this one. So that's why I got it. Cause I felt like it was almost like a modern day version of that vintage um, t-shirt. Stitching as well. You can see it's got the visible stitching because usually this type of stitching, they might do that on the inside, but this time they've done it on the outside just to add some more detail to the t-shirt so yeah so that was my that was my second cop on farfetch so yep loving that one so the next item that i got in was this arcturix um hooded arcturix zip hooded hooded zip <laughs> it was like a zip it's like a lightweight kind of hoodie if you want to call it that but it's just something that i thought especially what i found is in the evening time it can get quite cold i mean not at the moment at the moment the sun blazing it's probably going to be blazing for quite some time but i know you're just going to have those days when um i don't know about a month or two and it will just start getting cold again and i want something that's going to be a little bit <clears throat> kind of like water resistant and a little bit cold proof cold proof that's not even a term i just made that up but it's something that's just going to be a bit heavier than a t-shirt i know i'm going to need that kind of like an emergency kind of backup jacket that i can just keep in my bag because these days are so unpredictable sometimes you never know what's going to happen but it's got a nice peak there on the hood also it's a water resistant material obviously here it's got the arcturix there which is really nice and yeah i just thought to myself yeah this is this is uh gonna be a nice sweat for myself but on the hunt for some t-shirts which are not overly priced and something that's a little bit unique i managed to find a nice stadium goods t-shirt so the reason why i picked this is because i just thought it was a bit interesting i had seen it quite a few times already on farfetch Stadium Goods is actually a marketplace over in America that kind of like does a lot of streetwear stuff, a lot of trainers. But I just thought I would try this one and thought it would be a bit interesting. But um, I heard the quality is really good on there. So you got a nice print on the back there. And this is a nice thick durable print. And we've got another one here, Stadium Goods. And they've also printed on the inside, which is really nice. And it just feels like a really nice um, t-shirt overall. So I love the color black with the orange. So I thought, yeah, let me go for some something a bit different, which is this merch t-shirt, I'm sure I wouldn't see too many people run around in. So yeah, I picked this up myself from Farfetch as well. And Farfetch seems to be one of the few places that sells them. So yeah, that's another one that I'm happy about. Right, so moving on to the last two items that I picked up and the ones that I kind of wanted to focus on a little bit because they're UK brands. And I just kind of wanted to support something a bit local and bring them to the limelight as well. Nice little bag there, that's cool. So this one is the preview t-shirt, okay? Now notice first thing with the preview t-shirt, they got the nice tag on the inside, which is usually something you would see from Gucci. This is like very, very similar to the Gucci. So I just thought that was really nice, really nice touch. The quality of this stuff is really nice as well. Now, preview is actually designed by a guy called Jake Hall, I believe his name is. Now, I, I don't know about too much of this stuff, so I did some research, but apparently he was in um, The Only Way is Essex, which I, which I never watched, to be, to be honest with you. But he was big from that show, but he was only there for a short time. And after that, he went on to start this brand called Preview, which actually now is a really, is re it's a really nice brand. So they kind of do more smart stuff, I would say, or stuff that's a little bit more kind of plain, casual, relaxed, fitted. And I just think it's nice to see a brand like that from the UK just doing some really cool stuff. Also the materials they tend to use are really nice. So I, I don't feel like it's anything like cheaply produced. I feel like the um, cost of the of their stuff as well is, is quite reasonable. I think being a London brand as well, it could be one that you guys could look out for if you're looking for something a bit different and you want to support some kind of local talent as well. Okay, so that's the preview stuff. This last packet now should be from Represent. So let's have a look. Oh, got another nice bag there as well. Liking that, that's very smart, very smart. Open that. Whoop. Oh no, I don't want to damage the bag because the bag looked quite nice. I usually keep these bags as well um, to store stuff in. So I always do that when I get when I buy items online and they give you nice bags. I usually tend to keep them. So here is the other brand, which you a lot of you guys would have known already, but it's one brand that I'm a bit of an advocate for. And this is the Represent T-shirt, okay? Now this one is the one with the big logo at the back that says Owner's Club, powered by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts. 
Really like this one. I just feel like this Represent brand has come a long way. This brand was started in 2011 by two brothers and it was actually meant to be like a project um, at university and it just kind of grew on from there and it just kind of got bigger and they've really had an amazing journey, these guys. So it seems, I mean, from meeting Justin Bieber apparently in the UK to having him rock his brand to people like 2 Change, Dua Lupa and lots of other celebrities in America rocking their brand. And over here, obviously, lots of kind of prominent within the kind of streetwear scene so a lot of people are feeling them but in particular this print for this season this style print right here has been really popular in the t-shirts and during the winter time the hoodies as well quality of this stuff is actually really good it was really nice really well made 100% cotton and that's what I like about these guys it's not like it's just a t-shirt with a quick print it's actually lots of um, really good quality in this t-shirt and also it's made in the UK so this is definitely one that I think um, I think is one to watch out for if you're looking for summer bits and pricing is not too crazy I mean it's not super cheap but it's definitely not crazy this is which we're seeing a lot of now with a lot of premium clothing so yeah I think this one is really really nice okay but there's a 15% off, off sale at Farfetch so go to the link in the description box below and you guys can go ahead and grab yourself some deals because there's lots of selected items on sale right now and that's running out real soon okay guys peace